This is how to never forget the causes of respiratory failure. Won't breathe, can't breathe, and excess CO2. Let me explain. Respiratory failure means the lungs aren't doing their job properly. Either not getting enough oxygen in or not expelling enough CO2. Both are bad. But to remember the causes, we need to think of the other machinery involved. It's not just the lungs. The brain needs to say, breathe. The nerves carry the message, importantly, the phrenic nerve. The soft tissues then need to contract the diaphragm, intercostal muscles, the accessory muscles, and then the chest expands, decreasing the intrathoracic pressure. Air flows in and gas is exchanged between the alveoli and the capillary bed. But if any part of this chain fails, then you can get respiratory failure. By the way, comment respiratory for some free pages of my Never Forget Respiratory Guide. So just think, won't breathe. The brain isn't getting the signal, that's a central drive failure. Pathology that affects the brain stem, like sedatives, particular strokes, or pathology which causes increased intracranial pressure. Next is can't breathe. The drive to breathe is still intact, but the rest of the machinery can't follow through. So recall from the nerves to the lung parenchyma. We're thinking neuromuscular disorders or spinal cord injuries, down to chest wall deformities, or lung pathology like COPD. And lastly is excess CO2. Sometimes the lungs can't keep up with CO2 production. Here's some specific causes. But do remember, respiratory failure happens when there's decompensation. I've got more memory hacks for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.